Welcome back, my name is Parapigu, the game Pokemon Platinum. Last time we got the Orberg City Gym Badge, our very first gym badge. And uh, let's see, there's something around here. What was there? The problem with having a goldfish memory is trying to remember exactly what you get where. this. Where's your item? Oh yeah, you. I forgot there was a trade in this house. The Machop for Abra. It's not... The problem with that trade is that it's not a Kadabra that they're trading so you don't get a, uh, Alakazam. It's just a boring, 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 boring trade. A chop grabra. Whoop de doo. Two trade Pokemon, trade evolution Pokemon that don't evolve until their second stage. You fools! I know someone around here gives me something. Why am I wasting time with this? I don't particularly need anything. The only thing I might feasibly need is the... Oh, a dust ball. That's, 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 what, a thousand poke dollars saved? I mean, I named my cat, who was black, Blackie, so I'm not exactly in a position to throw stones about someone Hello, Sly. Whoops, Piku! You've got the gym badge, huh? Turn the City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So, yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So, I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Bah, who's got time to count? Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm trying to remember what all I can get with Rock Smash. And should I make heading to the Jubilife Double Battle a priority? That's the question. I should probably evolve Rock Hawk before the end of the episode and uh, Kyrie too. So yeah, I think at the very least I'll want to have gosh darn it, Rock Hawk. Why are you trying to supersonic me when I'm already confused, you fool? Thank you, really move like So yeah, at the very least, I'm going to have two of my mods evolve before the end of the episode. Why, hello, Psyduck. Uh, what nice weather we're having. Do you have Cloud Nine? You might have Cloud Nine, or you might have Damp. And I'm not particularly fussed either way, because... I'm not catching you. I have my water type for the team. Although I do appreciate you deciding to not damage me. The Psyduck, Psyduck should know Water Gun by level 9. I think. Why am I even down here?
I can't do much except get that Pokeball. Are you a trainer battle? I think you are. I don't remember what, what what Pokemon you have. You are not a trainer battle. Oh yeah, now I remember why I'm down here to get that big pearl for my cash. Cause I need the monies. Curses, I almost made it out of the cave without another encounter. At least it's another Zubat. So, I was, I was kind of iffy about putting Rockhawk in the front while I was still in the cave. Huh, nice one shot. Good job, Rockhawk. Well, let's see. Is there anything of import? I wish to speak upon. I don't believe so. I mean, obviously, in America, there's the thing. But for the sake of my own sanity, I'm not talking about it until after everything's said and done. Hello, Looker. Tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? Is not a pal pad free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in this Jubilife City. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. But, my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for shady grown-ups. Yeah, shady grown-ups. Why do I get the feeling that there's an item back here? Oh, I'm... never mind. This is where I get the Quick Claw from you, yes? Yes. I forgot to get that earlier. Probably shouldn't have. Not like it mattered. Badoo was... Uh, Zora was already fast as greased lightning! <sighs> it's always the same. Every four years, I wind up like this. Ugh. Why do I have to care so much? Oh, well. It's time for a double battle. Now, 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 now. Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. <clears throat> ah, Piku. Well, how is the Pokédex progressing? Hmm, that's Orberg, uh, Orberg's gym badge, I see. But hadn't I given you your first Pokémon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Oh, Professor of Pokémon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because of this, because this is work for us. What we're saying is, we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, you lot. Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. One, don't loiter about for no reason. Two, don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. Three, if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Four, don't think you've grown strong just because you're in a group. Five, what is with those outlandish outfits you have on? <coughs> My goodness, you call yourselves adults? You kids, don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Eh, you just had to make this personal. You have forced our hand into making a show of force. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids, give these thugs a lesson in civility, please. Pikachu, let's battle together. I deeply regret giving Rowan such a deep, gravelly voice. Deeply... 
do play regret. Oh well. That is the closest I can do to his normal voice. Alright, they're double teaming Chimchar. And I can honestly say I have no issue with this turn of events. Stunky, I hate to break this to you, but you, uh... Good job, Chimchar, but uh, you don't know Night Slash yet, Stunky. You have no reason to know Focus Energy. And Rock Hawk goes to level 12. See, I say this because in uh, Night Slash, which is a move Stunk Tank can learn, can Stunky learn Night Slash before it evolves? Maybe. And we have another level up. Okay, apparently it does learn Night Slash as a Stunky at level 36. I could learn Double Team. I don't see why I shouldn't learn Double Team. I could go to Tackle, because heaven knows Tackle isn't useful. How is this madness possible? The two of us losing the children! This won't do! Time to retreat! This mission is a failure! I have no idea what I'm doing for the Galactic Grunt's voices. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as energy for something. Pico, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon, too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Well, maybe that's the reason those people tried to take the professor's research data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over, so you can relax now. Still, thanks to you two, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Piku, kudos to you for your battling skill. Got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym badges of Sinnoh? Doing so, you will be sure to encounter lots of Pokemon. That, of course, means your Pokedex pages will continuously fill up. In other words, it will be of great help to my research. That said, I've given you your first Pokemon and Pokedex as yours to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish. Take care now. Ah, I forgot about you. Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. Yeah, the fashion case. Contained within that fashion case, you will find a whole spectrum of chic accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. And right now, on the, the TV station is offering its facilities to so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are also prize giveaways too. Please do visit our TV station. No, thank you. Was Rockhawk even? Yeah, it was hit with a scratch. Uh, let's see. There was something. There was something. Uh. Oh yeah, the evolution energy. Isn't it like infinity energy in the Pokemon lore? Let me double check. Why am I not healing? Yeah, infinity energy. So isn't that nice? Way back in Gen 4, there was already talk of Infinity Energy. 
which would eventually lead to a mega evolution and all that grand stuff. Seeing the mouse over there is... Wait, they put an NPC there. Let me see what he has to say. I forget. Why do I... Come here, come here. Our boulder was blocking the way. Oh. Gee, thanks. I already knew this. And a free potion just lying around. I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna look a gift potion in the mouth. Hello? We're using different kinds. Well, obviously, I'm not a specialist or nothing. I'm not a gym leader. Hello? You're an aroma girl, aren't you? What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? Yeah, aroma girl. Aroma lady, excuse me. So... Kyrie is only a single level from evolution. Rockhawk evolves at fifth. Wait, no. He evolves. When does Starly evolve? 14? 16? Well, we'll find out soon enough. It was a strong trainer who was drawn here by the scent of flowers. Yes. I do like to consider myself as a beefy boy. With muscles. With mountains of muscles. Hashtag get ripped. Hashtag so much muscle. Hello, bug catcher. Hey, hey, let me show off my bug Pokemon. You know, the Whirlpool line is interesting. I don't know why. A split evolution based not on anything you do, but based on the Whirlpool's inherent personality values. It's not even like a, the Vespaquen or the Burmy lines where their evolution is dictated by gender or things. It's just... A hidden personality value that you have no idea what you're getting until the Wurmple evolves into either Silcoon or Cascoon. I mean, I think... Well, it would be a lot more frustrating if Wurmple weren't as common as grains of sand and you also couldn't catch both Silcoon and Cascoon later on. I'm not going to be able to explain the charms of bug Pokemon this way! Okay, it was level 14. Oh yeah! Now all I need to do... Get Kyrie leveled up once, and then I'll feel comfortable about ending the episode. Liv. We can one-shot this trainer, can't we, Liz? We're the strongest in our class. What was that voice, excuse me? And why are all the twins just itty-bitty little kids? I don't believe you know Spark yet, and even if you do, Intimidate should slow you down a little. Alright, Bubble is a spread move. Spread moves do 25% less damage to each target? Let me think. Uh, 
see. Let me think. Well, that wasn't too painful. There will be a 75... Uh, they will be decreased to 75% of their power. Yeah, I was right. There's a 25% decrease. So, the normally 20 base power bubble is doing 15 base damage, I think. Of course, now that there's only a single mon on the field, it should go back to being 20 base power, I think, maybe. No. Well, at least it wasn't using charm beforehand. Ah, bubble sucks. Does Bubble have to be such a useless move? Oh, hey. Rock Hawk we rose to level 15 now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, but wait! Nope. Sorry, this trainer waits for no one! Also, tragically, Bullet Seed isn't the best of moves. Although, thankfully, the dew has not gained the water type that it will have as a bee barrel, which means Bubble does some damage. <sighs> this should put me over the edge to level 16. It's always funny when it lowers the speed of a mod that's already slower than you. It's like... I'm already slow. What more can you do to me? What? Kyrie is evolving! And in Platinum, Primplup gets Bubble Beam at level 18, I believe? Oh yeah, you get Metal Claw upon evolution too. I actually, yes, because I have no need for. I forgot Metal Claw, Claw has imperfect accuracy and can raise your attack stat. Although that point is moot since, for whatever reason, Empoleon gets Swords Dance. Go figure. A Pokemon that would benefit greatly from Nasty Plot doesn't get... What? Let me think. Empoleon's best has pretty good special attack. It has agility. It has sword stance. So... If Employon had access to Nasty Plot, would it be worth it to run a agility Nasty Plot set? I wonder. Well, obviously this is all hypothetical and Utterly pointless, unless by some miracle, Empoleon ends up getting Nasty Plot. Which, <laughs> we all know. A game Freak is stingy with their, with their uh, coverage sometimes. 
like with Jolteon. Someone petitioned Game Freak to give Jolteon better move coverage. Anyway, 25 minutes in, I've been rambling enough. I did what I set out to do. I got to Floor Roma Town. Got Kyrie and Rockhawk evolved. So, next time, we'll be dealing with the Valley Windworks. But until then, remember to like, comment, subscribe, ring the little ding the bell, and if you'd be so kind, get off my lawn, you filthy casuals.